This is my set of 81 gauge blocks. They go from 0.05 inches all the way down to four inches. But what is interesting is not the sizes of the gauge blocks, but how they work. So if we take, let's say the four inch gauge block and we take the three inch gauge block, first thing we notice is there's no magnetic attraction when they clang together, you'll notice that, it, oh, it's just, it sounds like metal on metal, and they don't stick at all. Then how do you get them to stick together? Because you need to stick them together to get all the different possible sizes, and the answer is ringing. And what ringing is, is when you take the two edges, which are incredibly flat, you take those and you get them so close together that you push out the air between the two, so it becomes a vacuum in between, so clearly that will stick them together. But also, many of the atoms will get close enough that they can do things like engage in van der Waal bonding together. So, if I get them together correctly, introduce these two edges correctly by pushing out all the air, they should stick. So the way I do that is I start by introducing one corner into the middle of the other one, and I slide it straight across, trying to make a plus sign between the two of them. So there, I uh, missed a little bit, so I'm gonna reintroduce it. And then once I have a nice plus sign with a lot of pressure, what I can do is twist, and that removes the air. And there you go. You have two gauge blocks stuck together. Fun times.